Hey guys, this is Hurricane Central here bringing you guys a tutorial video on how to use GR Earth if you're a beginner. This is the best weather software that I found and it probably is. It's a Gibson Ridge software that can enable you to do a lot of deep stuff that you can't get in another weather program. Now it is $180 a year. You can sign up for free trial for 7 days, but I just go and buy the $180 version of this. It's only a year, it's not a month, so thank gosh it isn't. But as soon as you guys download that, then you'll get direct um, to the program, which I'm just going to check that. Um, stop that. So you're going to have this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you're going to have a detailed uh, view of the lower 48 pretty much. And you'll have this little um, little button right here. It says start polling. Just press that little button, and it'll start polling data. Now, there's nothing on here because I have nothing checked at all. So there really isn't uh, anything yet. But you'll have, your, you'll have these little files up here, which I'll get into in a minute. But um, let's let's get into the, these uh, buttons so, so far. So you have the SPC outlook. This is the um, detailed forecast by the SPC, and you can tell this is a slight risk. This is a marginal risk. They don't show you thunderstorm risk like the light, really light green. But yeah, this is a pretty nice uh, tool if you don't want to go on the SPC site. You have a watch fill, you know, um, just showing you guys the watches that have been issued. So far, I don't see anything. And you have the um, Go Sally, which is one of the things I love about this. You can zoom in on a specific location with visible satellite, and you can, in the course over here, you have your play button. You just press play, and it'll start to uh, animate. It takes a little bit, a little while to do it, but it's well worth it. It works. It's legit. It's not really. It's really cool. Um. So yeah, you have that. As soon as it starts loading, it looks pretty cool. Um. So it should start loading in soon. But yeah, you have that. Um. So you have your model fill, which I'll. Here's the thing. Model fill is the model. So if you go to the Windows tab, you go to the model manager, you have all your models. So far the GFS I can't see that seem to work. So if you're NAM four kilometers, if you put on model you'll have your fill, which is your model fill, you'll have reflectivity, which I like to do. So we have radar no not radar, a model fill. And then it'll show you guys what um it's shown for the models. You guys can see some um thunderstorms popping up and, and you can see here's Bill over here. Um, you can see over here, here some storms are going to pop around my area soon. Uh, so you can see here's the, it looks, it's pretty high res I think, it's pretty cool. Because you can zoom in on a specific region like other ones you can, but I like this one so you can see Bill over here. You have your NAM 12 kilometers, you can always do that one. Um, you guys can just see how awesome this thing is, look at this. Um, after that if you, just uncheck it if you want to see it. You have your missile, missile analysis fill. This is the this go to the Windows tab. I'm just gonna exit this. I'm just gonna stop animating it just because um, I'm gonna go to the Windows tab, missile analysis manager. You'll have your cape, which I have checked. You have your SB cape right here. You have the model right here. And your cape is you know around my area, 2,500 to 3,000. It has ground reports, dew points, 850 millibar dew points. I just like to keep it on cape. You have a lot of options. This is service MLS, MLS of M. SLB. And all you guys have to do is press uh, Meso now so really I'll show you guys everything. Um, but yeah, it's, I usually keep it on uh, 850 um, millibar wind, and I'm just gonna check that. And you have, of course, your radar. You know, um, I like this radar because you can just zoom in so like right to your house. It looks pretty cool. So we go back, and then we go there. It's starting to. Um, so storms are trying to strengthen over my area, my area. I'm over here. If you press this little T button, this is the top. This is the toggling the precipitation. So it'll show you the precipitation. If it's snow, it'll show you know pink, blue, and all that stuff, which I love. It's so cool. I it's not winter yet, but um yeah. So you have your model overlay, which is um you know we go mod, model manager. Um this is your overlays right here. Your service and this is the forecast for the surface and ML, ML, MSLB. Um, right now I don't see it right now, but oh here it is. You guys can see Bill is going to be over here in 36 hours. It's forecasted by the name four kilometers. To uncheck that. Um, MSLB meso analysis overlay, which I've already showed you guys pretty much. Just go in your um, Windows tab, uh, meso analysis manager, and here's your overlays right here. I have a check on our 850 millibar wind. Um, and then we have our watch outline actually. Which is under this one. So yeah, there really isn't a lot. Um, this is, the watch. This one doesn't really do a lot. Um, MCD. 
uh, what is that? I I don't really, I don't really use it. MS um, CD National Hurricane Center. There's nothing currently going on, but when there is, you'll have the detailed projected path. You'll have you know. Um, the hurricane aircraft where they are and where you can just it's so cool I wish that I'd record this during build here's your matar this is one this is awesome it'll take ground reports and you can tell it's 80 degrees in my area if I look at my weather station it's about 80 degrees too so it's pretty accurate metal manager you can show the weather at your, um, it's raining lightning temperature dew points wind click on your location so far it's at um, 11 knots and here's a wind gust, wind chill, heat index, 91 surprisingly, it's North Champagne. Let's keep on temperature, I usually keep like that. I'm going to look at the dew point, 74 degrees, holy crap, it's really moist out there. So I'll check that, LSR, don't really use that, so you don't really have to worry about that. Lightning's, I, I haven't unlocked yet, I don't know why. If your warning boxes, which is, um, I'm going to turn that radar on. So far there's no warnings out yet, just forget. When there are, then it looks pretty pretty good. Your spotters were all liking it. This is what's cool. You can just check where everyone is. You know, there's some people that I know. Uh, you can tell people on the road they're stopping. You know what if they're just sleeping. I don't know. You have your um, rare products. Raw is I don't usually use raw because you have all these weather station clutter. This is all the weather station turning into a mosaic uh, radar. I don't really like that. I really like UC reflectivity, which gets rid of that and just shows you the radar product. Um, you have your tracks of the system. This is where the tracks, you know, show the tracks of the potential. I'm, I have a game in Farmer City. I don't know if we'll have it because it might get rained out. Who knows? Um, hail icons showing you guys where the hail is, how big it is, about half an inch over here. Going towards Champagne, watch out there. Um, you have your mesocyclones, which it, there's no mesocyclones yet. It'll show you rotation right here. It's not really showing it right now because there's nothing out there really. But you have a tornado ver vortex signature. It'll show up pretty cool. Marine, flash flood, thunderstorm, tornado warnings. There's nothing really um, about that that's really interesting. Um, but I forgot. To, let's just go to the Windows tab and I'm going to look at everything. Here's the GOES manager. This will show you guys. Um, let's check the GOES. Uncheck the radar. Here's the visible satellite. Um, you can see some thunderstorms just because the flames are just popping up really nicely. This, this thing looks just so cool. Infrared. You can show you guys the infrared picture of you know the storms starting to get some pretty good tops. Um, you get a water vapor, which is really cool for tracking tropical cyclones down in the Gulf. You can just tell there's some dry air entrainment right here over by Bill. So there's really nothing um, going on. You can see this see this big gap right here. That's just dry air. Some there's some thunderstorms trying to get in, but you know. Not really. I keep on visible usually until it's nighttime. I go. On, I switch to water vapor and infrared. Um, National Hurricane Center uh, manager. You can just GFS icons. You know this stuff. H wharf icons. GFDL icons. Recon. These are like the these are the tracks pretty much right here. Recon. That's really what I want. Category icons. Yep. Wind. Yeah, I like that. Um. Um, go to radar, color tables, reflectivity type rain. You know, we can just click a specific one. Um, yeah, there really isn't a lot more. You can go, you can download GR um, Earth. You can, you can uh, GR level two, which will give you more. Um, it costs more money, but it's still pretty cool. So if you could, and also um, if you want to stop polling data, just press the stop polling button. If you want to zoom out to the lower 48, just press that little button up here. Zoom in, do this. But you can just always scroll with your um, mouse. Um, you just do that. Um, so I'm just going to turn everything that I like to be on. I like having uh, radar on. Um, Meso analysis, no, I don't like that. All over, I know. I like having this on. This looks pretty cool. Love having guitar on. National Hurricane Center. There's nothing really out there, so I don't have to worry about that. Warnings, this, 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 this. And that's this, 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 this. So yeah, this is all the stuff that I like to have. If you guys want to change some stuff, you can. I usually just use like this. I, I'll just watch models if I have to. Um, but if you want to go press the help icon, I'll press about, and I'll just show you guys all this stuff. <laughs> I only, you know, this is the copyright kind of stuff. Here's a user guide. I'll do, redirect you. I'll show you guys all the stuff that from much talked about. Now I'll show you guys client ID. You don't really, um, uh, let's see, what does it say? Just press start polling. You don't really need to. You don't really need to put this in. 
Um, you actually, no, actually, it'll give you an option to do it. So just press that, and you're good to go, guys. Let's go back to GR Earth, and you guys can see it's a really nice thing on your screen. It's a nice little, uh, nice profile on the screen. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, vi this uh, beginner's guide. Um, if you do like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.